couple. Well, now let's go from a galaxy far, far away to the Haloverse. We are joined by 343 Industries' Kiki Wolfkill and the lovely Frank O'Connor <laughs> to give us Hi new guys. details about the Guardians campaign and a Halo The Fall of Reach exclusive. Welcome, guys. How's it going? It's How's your awesome show going so know. far? <laughs> I don't know. I've been in a little room in the upstairs on the Xbox booth the whole time. Means it's great. Now, listen, in the footage, <laughs> I, I want to roll back. Yeah. That footage that we just had on the screen a moment ago, we're looking we're at, we're following down. Agent Locke and Fire Team Osiris as they search for clues to track down Master Chief. Tell us a little bit more about the campaign as well as the team's overall objective in the story. Well, it's the first Halo game that has uh, been built from the ground up for co-op. So if you're playing with three friends uh, and a, te a fire team of four, it's obviously fun. Everyone knows that. Uh, if you don't have any friends available that day, uh, then AI will take over the other three characters. And so those characters are always there, and they feed into the story. And in the in the campaign trailer and demo that we already showed, uh, Agent Locke, uh, former Agent Locke, now Spartan Locke, has been tasked along with the other members of Team Osiris to hunt down the, tr the chief. Right. And you've seen little hints of that in our uh, Hunt the Truth campaign. Yeah. Uh, but in, at this stage in the game, which is sort of heading towards the middle of the game, uh, the chief is AWOL, and he is the number one uh, task for them to solve. And then obviously we've heard a little bit more about the actual campaign. You're going to play on both sides. Can you talk to us a little bit more in depth about how that story works as a player? Uh, well, obviously there's a lot of storytelling in the game, and the characters are communicating with each other, and of course the cinematics and vignettes that kind of play all that out. It's hard to say too much about it because there's so many <laughs> there's so many twists and reveals in that plot, uh, and and in what happens as those two forces actually converge, uh, that I'd be giving away way too much. And <laughs> that's just part of it. There's some stuff that happens at the end of the game that's going to blow your mind. But ultimately, it's kind of a it's kind of a initially it starts out as kind of a hunt, um, but it turns into something pretty different after the halfway mark. All right, now, Frank and Kiki, you talked about doing it with you know, co-op and friends. Does each team member have different loadouts, or can you give us examples of how that's going to work? Well, the teams the teams have different specialties. Right. Um, I mean, we have uh, the, one of the best snipers uh, in the universe in the shape of Linda, if you're playing on the Chiefs team. And, of course, we brought back Buck from ODST, who used to be the top dog in the ODSTs. Right. But now he's a kind of a junior Spartan, so it's going to be interesting to see Nathan kind of playing through that dynamic. Right. But it's really about their, their personalities and their skills. But the gameplay is uh, kind of symmetrical. We didn't want people arguing over uh, wh who had the best weapon <laughs> right. when, when they're choosing their character to pick. However, uh, I think that uh, clever players are going to go for the weapon that most suits their persona. As well it should. Absolutely. Well, and you mentioned weapons. And Kiki, I actually went up and hung out with you when you guys were building the right. full-size Warthog. So we've seen the Artemis tracking system and the Plasma Caster. Can you tell us about some of the gear and gadgets and maybe vehicles we'll get in this one? Yeah, I don't know that we can go into a lot of detail. Um, but we definitely have some new uh, new vehicles. You saw the uh, the Phaeton in, in uh, some of our materials. <laughs> and yeah, so it's, you know, it's interesting because you kind of have Blue Team, who's the Spartan 2s, sort of tried and true. And then you have the new generation of Spartans with Osiris Team. And they each come with their own accoutrement. Yeah. I'll let Frank yeah, dig and a actually, hole and, yeah. and leak information. No, I, the other thing is because it's, because it's always four players all the time, whether they're AI or whether you're your friends, vehicle combat uh, actually becomes much more important. So you could tell someone to go get in a vehicle yeah. rather than what we used to do in Halo, which is kind of drive around in a circle praying that someone got into the back of your, back of your truck. <laughs> trying to distract them from the fight. Yeah. And, uh, so. All right, now listen, Halo, I, uh, uh, Kiki, I understand you brought something with you. What are you going to show us today? We did. So, uh, you know, one of the, uh, the big story pieces is this sort of Osiris team and blue team dynamic. And uh, for people who are fans of, of the Halo lore, they know the story of the fall of Reach. They understand who blue team is and, and Master Chief's sort of origins. Look at this. This is a brand new image. We've never seen it, it before. Is. Yeah, right? there's the so logo. this is Halo, the fall of Reach. So it's an animated uh, series that we're releasing with Halo 5. It's part of the limited edition. And uh, it tells the story of the, of the Spartan 2 program and how John became Master Chief and how Blue Team came together as a fire team really as children uh, when they were abducted and became part of the Spartan 2 program. So it's kind of the, the deep lore that gives you a little bit more insight into, you know, why is Blue Team so important to Chief? And as you play in Halo 5, where does that sort of depth of connection come from? We get to see that story in the Fall of Reach. Uh, of course, now everyone wants to know, well, when does the story begin? The, ga the, the <laughs> game comes out? Uh, October 27th. Unless you buy the limited collector's edition. 
comes out a week earlier, right? Yes, so you can preload it uh, before before launch and be ready at midnight. All right. How many of you guys are getting the early one? Yeah. Yeah. What else would you get? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Three four three three four three industries. Kiki Wolfkill and Frank O'Connor. Now. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.